Hi everyone, I'd like to do a little mini-series on the differences between the address position, position 1, and the impact position, position 7. Now it's important to know that address and impact do not mirror one another unless the golfer has set up in a very specific way uh, to mimic the impact position. Address and impact are not the same. So just over this series I'm going to cover some of the differences and today I'm going to start with the one which I consider the most important which is the weight transfer, the weight shift and what we're going to see is that from the address to impact position golfers are shifting their hips forwards and what I mean by that is if we draw this line on the left hip of these golfers so on the left we have Adam Scott, on the right we have Ben Hogan you'll see that as they get to impact their hips are pushing through, going past that vertical line I drew. So at impact, the hips are more forwards than they were at setup. So Ben Hogan, you can see that very clearly. Adam Scott on the left-hand side. It's the same thing. You can always see the hips come through and past that line. And the uh, tall players that have been measured, they shift their hips between 15 uh, and 20 centimeters forward, so that's 6 to 8 inches forwards uh, towards the target during their swings. And in actual fact, the way these players have been measured, it's taking the starting point as wherever they started its address, rather than having the hips centered between the stance and calling that the zero point. So and in fact, in a lot of cases, the hip slide is even greater than that because a lot of players start with the hips slightly more forwards than centered between the feet. Um, so then if we keep on going here would be Bill Haas, Boo Weekly and same thing I'll draw the same lines on the left hand side of the hip same with Boo Weekly and so you see the hips always sliding forwards I think it's in the PGA Manual of Golf, Instructional Manual of Golf in the US and the United States, and it says on one of the very first pages that a golfer who doesn't learn to transfer his weight working on anything else in his game is futile. You need to be able to do this. And this is a very big differentiator between address and impact positions. The hips have slid forwards. Here's Dunst, Dustin Johnson and Justin Rose. If you think of the image of swinging in a barrel, you would be trying to smash through the barrel on the downswing. So here we go again. Dustin Johnson on the left-hand side. And you see the hips clearly moving way past that line. So way more forwards than they were at setup position. Justin Rose on the right, same thing. Hips way more forwards than they were at setup position. Um, let's have Steve Elkington, Robert Rock. No, nope, take away the Robert Rock. Let's have Lee Westwood, another Englishman. So, on the hip, Steve Elkington, the Aussie, on the hip. And again, the hips coming, crashing through the barrel, smashing the barrel. And Lee Westwood, exactly the same. So in reality, I could keep on going showing this. This is a pretty much universal principle for good golfers. The hips are always sliding, always moving forwards. There's always a weight shift towards the target. Learn to make that impact position with your hips forwards and you will become a better golfer than you currently are if you don't already do this. Thanks. Bye.